What's up everyone? Welcome to our video. It's Tim here from Tutorials Hub. Now in today's video, I will show you exactly and break down what local LLMs can you run on M4 Mac Mini. So I just found one Reddit thread here, which said I'm not much of a hardware guy, but my curiosity with new technology has me pushing some limits and I need to upgrade from my i5 MacBook Pro. And basically they started talking about the uh, M4 Mac Mini for local LLMs. Um, now, as you can see, uh, the person said 64 gigabytes is the sweet spot. This is where you can load 70 billion parameter models at usable quants if you like and have memory to spare for context and second smaller model alongside. So as you can see, whether you want to sit around waiting for the prompt evaluation and three to four, uh, you know, timeout second inter inference, depending on uh, you and is, isn't a RAM issue, then this is a great way to start. So above 64 gigabytes, you can load larger models as well. Now, what I also found out here is, let's say you have a M4 chip, right? The Mac, um, M4 Mac mini is powerful, but it has some limitations if you were to run it on a, um, on a GPU, which is M4 chip, right, with neural engine. However, thanks to the metal performance shaders, right, and GGUF quantization, you can run many models efficiently. So, for example, some smaller models that you can run, um, usually Mac mini comes with eight gigabytes, 16 gigabytes, or 24 gigabytes of unified memory. So here's what you can realistically run on those. Mistral, seven billion parameters, four bit quantized. You can run Llama 3. Uh, 8 billion parameters, again, 4-bit quantized. You can run Gemma 7 billion, P3 Mini, 3.8 billion parameters, or Orca 2 with 7 billion parameters. Now, here is the performance on RAM uh, requirement, 8 gigabytes plus, and then the performance is 10 to 25 seconds, uh, tokens per second. And then ideal use cases for this is text generation, summarization, coding help, casual chatbots. This is great for casual people that are just want you know ai on their side and you know you you want maybe like a, it's like a ai assistant in a sense now for mid-size models it's slower but workable more capable ai right so llama 3 8 billion parameters for 8 bit uh, and then quen 7 billion mi mixtral 12.9 billion um, the performance is 5 to 10 sec uh, tokens a second 16 gigabytes are requirements for this one and then here you can get more advanced chatbots, research, coding assistance, and stuff like that. And then for larger models, it's very slow, needs very high RAM. So this is pushing the limits, guys. So if you want to do that, you can do Llama 3, 70 billion, Quen 2, 72 billion, Mistral, 7 billion. Performance here is this. And then RAM requirements is 24 gigabytes minimum, 32 gigabytes preferred. Uh, so Mac Studio or MacBook Pro M4 Max is better as you can see for these use cases. And then obviously how to run these models, I already actually made a video on this uh, a day ago, so you can go and check it out. But yeah, as you can see for 70 billion models, 64 gigabytes is the sweet spot, so you can run those models for most people. That will be the best answer for this video, right? You can actually go and run uh, 70 billion models at usable quants at 64 gigabytes um, of RAM. So. Uh, as you can see, this is pretty much it, right? Um, for this video, I kind of answered um, the answer, what local LLMs can you run? Those are the LLMs you can run, and then most of the LLMs you can run at 64 gigabytes that have 70 billion parameters. Uh, and obviously, more than that is going to be much more in RAM. So you can also watch a video where we did a breakdown of Llama 3.1, 70 billion, uh, GPU requirements as well so you can kind of see and compare uh, but yeah uh, as you can see you know as with all current Mac devices there are pros and cons the pro is that at the end of the day you have a Mac this is a killer feature for some people the con is that you could have much faster much bulkier uh, 3090 base system for about the same price so again you choose if you already have Mac and for me just you know uh, try to upgrade it or you know, even try to test some LLMs and see how that goes. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you find it useful and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.